Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be creating some sort of graphic, I hope some sort of graphic eyeliner look. I really don't even know. I'm gonna use some neutral shadows. I'm gonna kind of do a wing, flick it out, try to do something on the lower lash line. I saw a picture online. I'm gonna to try to somewhat recreate it. So I don't even know what's gonna happen, but if you would like to see a look that's probably in the thumbnail, please keep watching. So I, I've already applied all my face makeup. I'll list everything down below. Uh, on my eyes today, I'm gonna to try out the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. I have a little sample. Uh, I don't remember if I've tried this, but we will try this today. Hopefully it's good. It's kind of like a white, creamy texture. I think I have tried this before. So I'm going to put this Focus it more on the lower lid. I do kind of have a concealer already on the lid, plus I set it with a powder, so I don't want to put too much of this product. Now that I primed my eyes with the NARS primer, I'm going to set my whole face using the MAC Emphasize Powder. This is like kind of like a translucent powder. I'm breaking out in quarantine all these products that I used to love that I just kind of haven't touched in a long time. It's gonna kind of be a little bit white, but the bottom of my lid, I do want to appear a little bit more white. Next, I want to use a very soft brown color. So I'm gonna go with this MAC little single shadow in the color soft brown. So I'm taking this Coastal Sense brush. I'm gonna dip into this. This is a really nice brown shade. It's a great staple kind of transition shade to own. Um, it applies very lightly and you can build on it, so I really like it for that reason. So I'm gonna dip in. So I'm taking this soft brown, pretty high. I'm leaving a little bit of that lighter shade underneath the brow bone just for a highlight. And as I take this, I'm gonna start to flick it out. The great thing about this shade, it's very easy to blend. You just start off with a little bit, you can build on it. It just gives the eye a really nice light definition. Okay, so next I'm picking up another single matte brown shadow. This one is by MAC as well, it's called Cork. So I'm taking the same brush, I'm gonna dip into this. Now, this you don't have to be as precise because I'm actually gonna cut out, do kind of like a cut crease, which I haven't done in a long time. So you can kind of be a little less precise with this color. I'm gonna focus it though just in where the natural crease of my eye is. I'm not bringing it up as high. So I'm just focusing there to give it a little bit of a deeper definition. And you're also going to want to extend that out like the first shade as well. Okay, so next I'm going to kind of start to carve out my crease. Uh, you can use a concealer, you can use the NARS primer that I use, but I find it's not the right texture or the right color. So I'm going to go in with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray. It kind of looks like a concealer, plus it really holds eyeshadow. So I'm taking that on this little lip brush from Quo. I'm just going to start to lay down the primer, focusing it on the bottom lid, taking it right into the crease. So normally when I've done a cut crease like this, I would follow this line and I would take it lower and kind of flick it out. This time I followed the line, but I've kind of flicked it out higher, almost giving my eye a lift. So if you look between the two eyes, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this eye just looks a lot more lifted rather than this one, which is a little bit more downturned. So I'm taking that and flicking it upwards more towards the eyebrow rather than going down and then taking it out to the side. I'm going to go in with a pigment now to set what I just did. This is... Uh, Naked by MAC. It's a pigment. I really love this because um, it is a tanned neutral color with a slight shimmer but nothing too overpowering, nothing too glittery. So I'm taking this little tiny detailing Coastal Scents brush. I'm putting the pigment. Now you can spray your brush to help pick up the pigment better for less fallout but I find sometimes when I do spray and then dip into the pigment it can get a little bit choppy and I don't want that look so I'm just gonna take it and slightly press it on our primer that we just laid down. It's almost the same color, but it has a little bit more of a sheen and it pops a little bit more than just the primer itself. You could totally just leave the primer and have it as an eyeshadow, but I'm going to set it with this pigment because it's so beautiful. Just pressing this lightly across the lid. I 
I do find that when I do an eye like this, sometimes it's hard to get the perfect shape because I do find my eyes are two different shapes. I feel like this one is a little bit more sagging. I don't know why, don't ask me, but anyways, it's kind of a little bit challenging, but I'm up for the challenge sometimes, you know? I'm also gonna take the same pigment and put it just in the very inner corner of my eye. Now I'm taking the Maybelline, this is the Hyper Easy Liner. It is very true, it is very easy. Don't know about the hyper part, but the easy part, absolutely. It comes in a very, very small, precise point, easy to use, easy to draw with. Now for this wing, I wanna go upwards rather than outwards this way. I want my wing to be more geared this way. So say a prayer for me and hope for the best. I want it to be pretty thick on the outside and then I want it to taper in really, really fine into the inner corner. So now that I've laid that down, I'm just gonna quickly draw a little line. Okay, so for my lower lash line, this is the part where I've never really done this before. So I'm going to take the soft brown shadow, the same one I used the first time in the crease. So I'm dipping in with a tapered quo brush, going in with the soft brown by MAC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to work it just here at first, just right kind of in the center of my eye. Okay, so next you're gonna to wanna to pick up a matte black shadow. So I just have this in front of me. This is the Revolution palette, the Tropical Carnival eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go in with this black shade in the corner. It's just called Jab Jab. Also, if you're interested in me reviewing this palette, doing some sort of colorful look, let me know because I haven't done a first impressions on this palette yet. So I'm gonna go in with the black matte shade using a Joe Fresh. This is a liner brow brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow taking the black about halfway. I'm going to use this little Bare Minerals line diffuser brush as well. I just find to get a better point on it. Make sure you use a brush that's pointy, not like this one. This is not what I need. So go in with a pointier brush. The picture I found for this look, this eyeliner that I was placing was going more out kind of sideways, but I still want to keep my eye more lifted instead of sloping it down. So I'm doing the liner a little bit more upwards. So that's up to you. It's a personal preference. You can do more of a graphic liner more sideways. I am going upwards. I'm actually going to take my little blending brush we used with the soft brown. I'm not putting any more eyeshadow on it, but what I'm doing it's just going along the very edges of the black. So this way you're gonna smooth out any sort of, maybe it needs to be buffed out a bit. So this will help just kind of smooth and buff. Now, if you're feeling a little bold, I, I am. I took the liner again, and I'm going to do a slight, fine, very fine line with this. Go slow, that's my best advice. It just adds a little bit more of a definition, but you gotta be very, very slow, very, very precise with it. That's why it's great to have a liner that's very, very tiny, because you can really create some nice lines using the product. So I'm gonna take this Revlon eyeliner. This is the Vinyl So Fierce liner in the shade black. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, tight line. I'm taking that black as well. And I'm tracing the line that we just did. But you want to make sure you're not bringing it like all the way around, attaching it to the top flick, because then we're going to lose the separation. So you're just going to want to keep it on the bottom, connect it to the out outer wing, and then don't flick it upwards. I'm also going to take some of this eyeliner by Marc Jacobs in the shade Pink of Me, which is a really nice brightening eye pencil. So I'm going to take that. Next, I'm going to apply some mascara uh, using the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This is great. I forgot how good this was and I started using this again. I'm going to focus most of the mascara on the very, very corners. And I'm going to be pulling my lashes this way towards our flick. 
instead of going straight, I'm going sideways. And then for my lower lashes, I'm going to apply a generous coat of the Annabelle Skinny Mascara. Again, focusing a lot of the product on the outer portion of my eye. But we do want to keep adding the mascara on the inner corner, but focus a lot of it on the outer portion and flick it this way, kind of towards the wing. All right, so off camera, I found a pair of these Sally Lashes in the style Prestigious. I actually previously already cut them, so I only actually applied about three quarters of the lash. All over here is just my natural lashes, and I like these ones because they're fuller on the outer wing, and uh, yeah, I just glued them on and called it Bob. So, this is my look. Let me zoom it in. Alright, so here it is, my finished look. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Uh, if you like it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks for watching. 